Yellowstone volcano activity Steamboat geyser eruption lasts for one hour. What does it mean? Steamboat geyser on Yellowstone volcano spewed boiling water and steam for more than an hour this week, but is it a sign of increased volcanic activity? Steamboat geyser erupted for the 19th time this year, continuing a run of unusually high activity in Yellowstone volcano's Norris Basin. The geyser's last eruption on Monday, September 17, lasted more than an hour and 15 minutes. Steamboat eruptions typically last between 3 and 40 minutes and this year remains one of the most active on record. Yellowstone National Park officials said, it's hard to put into words how contagious the enthusiasm for the steamboat geyser eruption was. There was laughter, tears, hugs and almost non-stop cheering during today's hour and 15-minute eruption. Were you there? Share your photos, videos and stories. Steamboat Geyser is known for suddenly shooting hot water 300 feet, 91 meters, into the sky from a series of underground vents. The eruption makes Steamboat the world's tallest active geyser. Only New Zealand's Waimangu Geyser is known to shoot higher. The U.S. National Park Service, NPS, said the eruption was completely unpredictable. The Yellowstone geyser had been dormant for three years and 1993 days, since September 1, 2014, when it resumed activity on March 15. Steamboat previously erupted once on July 3, 2013, and had been silent for six years and 162 days before that. Steamboat's latest eruption comes after the normally tame Ear Spring in Yellowstone's upper geyser basin shot hot water 30 feet, 9.14 meters, into the sky on Saturday, September 15. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, yesterday noted some changes taking place at Yellowstone's geyser hotspot. However, the agency has not linked hydrothermal activity to the increased activity. Volcanic activity deep inside the Yellowstone volcano, the USGS said, the shift in the hydrothermal system is only occurring in the upper few hundred feet of the Earth's crust and is not directly related to the movement of magma several kilometers below the surface. There are no signs of volcanic activity. There is no significant increase in seismic activity or large-scale variations in ground motion. A series of eruptions at Steamboat Geyser earlier this year raised concerns about increased activity at the Yellowstone volcano, but officials have since reassured that an official eruption is not imminent. After Steamboat erupted three times in a row, for the first time in 15 years, the USGS said it was all part of the geyser's natural cycle. The USGS said at the time, geysers are supposed to erupt. That's the way it is. And there has been no other activity to suggest an eruption is imminent. Yellowstone is behaving as it should. Yellowstone's current volcano alert level is green or normal, meaning there is no unusual activity. Michael Poland, the observatory's principal investigator told Horton that Steamboat is highly unpredictable because of its complex plumbing system. Old Faithful, which is a geyser freak, has a fairly simple underground water system. Its water is evenly heated by magma rising from the Earth's mantle, so it's regular. Steamboat's plumbing system, however, is likely more complicated. Uneven heating of its water source would create seemingly random jets of hot water from the geyser. The eruption could have been caused by a number of other things, according to Reuters. It's possible that, instead of having one big eruption to release pressure like it did in 2013 and 2014, Steamboat simply released its steam in a series of smaller eruptions. 
It's also possible that the thermal basin is experiencing some subsurface shifting. The 2003 event was linked to an underground thermal disturbance in the Norris Basin that killed several trees and nearly swallowed a nearby trail, Horton reports. 1 thing is clear. The changes at Steamboat aren't a sign that the Yellowstone supervolcano is awakening. The chances of Yellowstone erupting anytime soon are slim to none. In fact, as Reuters reports, it would be far more concerning if the geyser suddenly went dry. Does Steamboat's reawakening mean Yellowstone Volcano is about to awaken after 70,000 years of slumber? Very unlikely.